white people at my show and I look at them in the face, I can tell they don't know who I am. They just at here. They just at the show. They seen it in the paper. <laughs> they be looking at me like this. That's they look like, nigga, we don't know you. <laughs> I got this little ass jacket on. It was bigger than this when I bought it. But something changed in my eyes or something. I got this little Duval jacket on. <laughs> fuck it, I don't give a fuck. I already paid for it. I'm wearing this little motherfucker. Yeah, but y'all look good too, man. Shit, it's so cold outside. Yeah, man, I'm glad y'all here, man. Because this ain't nothing to do. Everybody else in the rest of the country sitting in the house on house arrest. We the only ones having fun right now. So you in Vegas, do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Order anything in here. See, Vegas is the only place you can be something like the devil. You don't want to be him, though. Stop filming the show, bitch. At least hide the camera, goddamn. I we got a film projector right here like this. Damn, I can't do the show with the light in my face. I feel like, I feel like the feds or something. You paid too much for your tickets to film me. You gotta be sitting back there with them poor niggas with that camera on back there. Like, they back there like, fuck you, Mike Epps. I bet I'll never come to none of your motherfucking shows again. This nigga Cat Williams did fuck the game up. That little mother, did y'all see that nigga running? That nigga was running like... That nigga said he ran a faux faux. No shirt on, nigga's hair was fine, back. <laughs> nigga, cat must be stopped. I was insulted that the nigga didn't insult me. I said, nigga, I need some fucking press too, nigga, shit. I started to send them niggas some shit about me. This some shit you didn't know right here, nigga. The nigga said he ain't never got high with nobody. I've been high with him before. Me and that nigga sit up and did a whole eight ball one time. 
champagne, cigarettes. All night, that nigga walk around. It's beautiful. <laughs> This is a jacket that nigga will wear right here. <laughs> the nigga told the truth, though. Oh, he was tearing them niggas' asses up. <laughs> that nigga said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, God, he told them niggas' ass up. <laughs> That nigga said, Cedric looking like a walrus with his hanging on top of his belly. <laughs> nigga said, Puppy tried to fuck me. <laughs> Puppy tried to fuck cat. They've been trying to fuck cat ever since Friday at the next, but Terry Crews had him in that goddamn bathroom. Oh, he told them niggas' asses up. <laughs> but he told the truth about a lot of them niggas, I ain't lying. He told their ass up. I don't know how it's gonna work out for him later. <laughs> Cause somebody gonna hit that nigga in the head and he don't know who gonna hit him. I called Kevin and I called him. Cedric didn't answer the phone. <laughs> and I ain't never had Steve Harvey's number. That motherfucker up the ass nigga. I tried to call that nigga. <laughs> I called Kevin though. I called Kevin. I said, man, this, this, come on, man. What would you do, Mike? I said, beat the dog shit out of him, catch him somewhere, and whoop his motherfucking ass. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have that little boy with me. Come here, man. Because I asked Cat one time, I said, man, how did that happen? He said, I was up there talking to the kids. He said, that little nigga was strong. <laughs> I'm like a little boy. All these women coming out on these dudes and shit, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, you know what I mean? And, you know, the women ain't came out on me because they know I ain't got no money. <laughs> Them bitches are like, oh, he in Vegas this weekend, he ain't got no motherfucking money. We gonna wait till he get his money up first. Shut up. <laughs> Project Power Ranger. Nigga might ask you that anyway. I can tell the way you talk and your hair ain't done. <laughs> Bitch, you flew out here on Southwest. <laughs> and you're sleeping in a room with five other hoes. And y'all on the strip, cold, with no clothes on. <laughs> How did you get in this show any motherfucking way? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, all the project bitches come to my show, I'll tell you. Look in the lobby, they out there, they come to my mother and see my dad tonight. Don't get killed, my dad. We your biggest fan, my dad. Look, there, there she go again. You gonna shut up. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. 
so you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'm sitting down, nigga. I thought he was going to attack cat, that nigga there. Nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on that nigga and tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. They exposing every motherfucking body. They got T.D. Jakes fucked up. Now that's fucked up. All that money that nigga didn't got from God, and then they came out on him. I knew he wasn't protected by God because I went to his house one time. I did a movie called Sparkle. He was the producer. He invited everybody to the house, and the nigga's house looked like heaven. It's sitting on top of a mountain. And when the gates open up real slow and you have to drive up there, I said, man, this nigga's house built like heaven. You drive up there. But what threw me off was it was some fucking security guards up there with machine guns. I said, what the fuck? First thing I said, Where's the faith? <laughs> I guess God don't work up there all the time. Some shit happened and he called God and God didn't show up. He said, I got some for these niggas next time. They come up there and kill ass one He gotta get that arch out of his back. You be walking like this. <laughs> that arch in your back will tell everything. <laughs> let me tell you, let me chill out before the ABCDEFJHIJK Elemental P community come out. They took all the letters. You say something about them, they're gonna be outside protesting. Fuck my ass! Fuck my ass! Fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck him! And a little short one come out of nowhere, and we mean it too. <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from? I'm drunk as a motherfucker. I ain't bullshitting. And I tell, I tell guys all the time, if you homophobic, you hiding something. Because you ain't got no business being angry if ain't nobody trying to stick you nowhere. <laughs> People that's always running around saying somebody's gay is gay. Because how do you see it? <laughs> Your instincts is too good, nigga, for not to be involved. And why are you looking so hard to see? It was a motherfucking gay dude who lived across the street. I ain't bullshitting. And, and, and it was a drug dealer dude. One of my partners lived across the street. He was a big time kingpin. And the gay dudes lived across the street from him. And he used to be mean to him. He's like, fuck y'all looking at faggot ass niggas. Bitch ass nigga, and the gay dude was scared. Lived right across the street from him. They wasn't even allowed to look at him. So one night he had, this is a true story, he had a shootout with some motherfucker. Bam, 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 bam. And they shot him up. And, and, he, and for this a real true story, the motherfucker went unconscious on his porch. And when he woke up, he was in the hospital. He came out of a coma, yeah, and his family was standing around. Oh, and they said, boy, God is good. He said, yeah, God is good. He said, man, what happened? He said, man, it's my saved your life. He said, who? Ooh. He said, your neighbors. <laughs> the guys across the street saved your life. He said, how? <laughs> so well, they, they, they gave you mouth to mouth suscitation. Brought you back to life, got your heart beating. But you was bleeding internally, so they had to stop the blood. They put something in your butt.
He said, I'm gonna kill them motherfuckers when I get out. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna kill both the motherfuckers when I get out of this motherfucker. Yeah, they got Puff Daddy fucked up. I know. I know that nigga hit Cassie in the nose with a ca cassette. Jail too, and they gonna be in there teaching all them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Y'all think R. Kelly is singing in prison? Tell the truth. That nigga singing in there. Whoever in that cell next to that nigga is getting all his new hits. Okay, like, look, look, listen to this one. <laughs> Niggas start beating on the thing for him. Uh, I'm gonna put that out if I ever get it out. <laughs> they gave that nigga 38 years. He should have killed one of them hoes. <laughs> He got a murder sentence. The parents should have went to jail for taking the kids over there to the niggas house. Trying to get their kids on, taking them to the Pod Piper's house. I'm gonna drop you off, baby. Call me when you're done. Call you when you're done, all right. One of the girls, was, I, I seen the interview, man. And I tell a nigga all the time, if he do an interview with Gail King, we're going to prison. <laughs> Oprah, you going to the penitentiary. Cause them is police questions that them bitches is asking. <laughs> them is interrogations. <laughs> nigga don't know how to answer them questions. What kind of women do you like? I said, all women. <laughs> you going to jail. That's why that nigga jumped up and said, y'all killing me here, here. It's over with, nigga. You should have did the interview. <laughs> now they got R. Kelly Day in prison where they let him and all the inmates come out. Because <coughs> you know in prison when it's a birthday nigga, when a nigga's birthday, they put all the snacks out. You get to eat anything you want. We got chips and nutty buddy bars. And... <laughs> they let R. Kelly out and he do the little song. It's your birthday. <laughs> little inmate be standing there looking at R. Kelly. Cat said Weinstein tried to suck his dick in front of everybody. He tried to suck my penis in front of the world. He should have just jumped up and stole on him. Get him right in his motherfucking eye. There's a lot of beautiful ladies in here, man. God bless y'all ladies. I know the men's ain't been treating you right. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can look at some women in here now that can tell you're in a forced relationship. <laughs> Blink once if the nigga got you, he'll kidnap. She made him put his hand on her motherfucking lap. Cause there's a lot of men in here that's getting beat. <laughs> How many men are getting beat? Tell the truth. Look at that. Look at all these fucking dudes that's getting hit. Look at all the guys that's getting hit. Are you getting hit, JD? <laughs> that's JD from the lynch mob. Y'all remember JD from the lynch mob? Give it up for JD.
Gorilla, I is a nigga. That nigga just did 200 years in prison. He just got out. Nigga fresh out of San Quentin. That nigga's made me and you about to do a video. I said, JD, it's over with. <laughs> Granddaddy Records is not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Them old niggas rap better than the young niggas, but don't know why they wanna buy their shit. <laughs> I wanna hear a JD album right now. Nigga, I can't talk to you right now. Don't you see me working? Nigga, stop calling my motherfucking name, nigga. I don't know you. A nigga start trying to talk to me like, nigga, I'm, don't you see me doing a job? Look at this Mexican right here. Where the cocaine at? I know you got it. The Mexicans don't sell drugs to no black people. Because black people gonna buy from you five times and rob you to six. <laughs> I knew that nigga was gonna get me. The Mexicans are taking over every motherfucking thing. No, don't clap, because y'all taking niggas' jobs, too. <laughs> no, for real, Mexicans are taking over. I went to a, 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 a Jamaican restaurant the other night. <laughs> and something told me I was being nosy. Something said, look in the back. <laughs> and it was three Mexicans back there making the fucking Jamaican food. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> And shit. Man, I had a jerk burrito that night. That motherfucker was good in a bitch. Think about that. A jerk burrito, nigga, with the green peppers and shit. The Mexican's name was Trevor Rodriguez. He was from Cancun, Jamaica. Y'all know artificial intelligence is coming, they call it AI. I called Alan Iverson and said, I heard you finna take over, nigga. <laughs> no, for real, this artificial intelligence shit is about to be real. It's gonna be really fucked up, you know? When you see your drunk ass uncle with a robot bitch. Sorry, sorry. Oh. I'm doing good for myself. I'm like, that bitch ain't real, huh? <laughs> no, that's for real. You know they're not gonna replace these Mexicans. They ain't gonna replace them. Cause you're gonna be dealing with a, 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 a artificial intelligence every day, and the one day you're gonna show up and the Mexican gonna be standing there. I said, we're the robot. Uh, he's all gone, amigo. <laughs> we put some light on him, and he had new wheels. He did a lot of things with him. Yeah, yeah. White people be talking about they scared of niggas. There's some niggas that scared of niggas, too. Them same niggas that white people scared of, niggas are scared of them. That's why when niggas get some money, they say, uh-uh, get them niggas away from me. I don't want them niggas. Come on, baby, there goes some niggas. Get out of here. This nigga been in the hood his whole life. Now he don't like niggas. Because he got some money. Ain't that a bitch? Brand new nigga. Yeah. I tell you who ain't scared of niggas is Asians. I've almost gotten four or five fights with them. 
because they didn't go for the shit that we do. For real, because people are scared of black people, but Asians, you know what I mean? And they put their store right in the fucking neighborhood where you live at, and don't want you to come in there. <laughs> As soon as you come in there, they, him and his wife get up and start walking. As soon as you pick something up. He's doing this on purpose, didn't he? Didn't, didn't, yeah, that nigga's doing that on purpose. Stop fucking my show up! <laughs> fucking uncle. <laughs> yeah, them fucking Asians, man, they ain't right, man. Mm -hmm. And then they not scared of you. You'll walk up to them and say, I'll slap the shit out of you. What's up, man? Yo? <laughs> You'll not have a good day today. Your baby mama trip up with you. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. I know that cat better be here tomorrow when I come back. <laughs> they hide everything with a teriyaki sauce. That motherfucker, it go in sweet, and when it hit your stomach, it say, Rawr. and when it come out your ass, it say, Rawr. I've been acting like I don't like white people my whole life. I only do it in front of black people. Black people pressure me to be racist. I realized that. I said, I don't like white people unless black people are around. If y'all see me, when, when I'm not around black people, I'm white. I've been talking about white people so bad my whole fucking life that I did that uh, 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 ancestor thing. And the second box that came up, it was a white man in it. My granddaddy's white. That's fucked up. So I'm gonna let you niggas know I'm gonna stop talking about white people. Cause I'm white. I don't look like this nigga here. Stand up, Boogie Cousins. Y'all give it up. Look at that. Give it up, Boogie Cousins, man. Give it up for Boogie Cousins. What's up, Big Boogie? It's a big wild ass nigga right there. He's the first Draymond Green. You ain't never seen Draymond Green jump in that nigga's face right there. That nigga get out there and hit a nigga and get up in a nigga's face. That nigga from Alabama too, shit. That's a country ass whooping you gonna get. On them cornbread. And I know that nigga too from somewhere. Detroit? You a basketball player? Little? Oh, yeah. That nigga sell weed right there, man. <laughs> That's the biggest weed man in the world, man. Detroit? Detroit in the house? What up, though? My baby? Them niggas sell dope like a motherfucking Detroit. They be having a job and still sell dope. Them 
niggas be selling dope while they at work. You know, I'm gonna get off, I'll be over there and meet you with all that shit. <laughs> niggas be working and selling dope, you know, I'm going to the bathroom, I'll be over in a minute. <laughs> Sat down in the house. Yes, sir! Shake time! It's cold the motherfucker out there. The hose is froze to the car now. Four hoes froze to the car door. Look at the white man trying to duck. I see your big bird looking ass running out of here. You can't hide, white man. I was on cocaine in all the movies you've seen me in. Not all of them, but a couple of them. Let me be real with you. I was on cocaine in All About the Benjamins. Go watch it again. When I found that ticket and I was going like this. Nigga, I have been up for three days. Me and Trick Daddy. I swear to God, high than a motherfucker. And coke is the wrong drug to have sex on, because your dick don't get hard. And you be hitting the motherfucker. I'm talking about you be in front of a bed. Here he come again. As soon as I said something about some cocaine, he came in. He was standing by the door. I said, cocaine. Cause that's how old niggas let you know they got coke. They don't say, hey Mike, uh, uh, cause everybody in the fucking club gonna know. They'll just look at you and go like, yeah. <laughs> Man, you got a shit uh, instantly. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do this as soon as you see the nigga with coke. <laughs> That's Big D right there. Y'all give it up for Big D. Yeah. He's a manager at McDonald's on uh, Long Beach Boulevard. <laughs> That's a pajama suit, y'all. That ain't no hoodie with pants. That's Big D from South Central. L.A. in the house. L.A. in the house. Come right, come right, 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 right. Oakland in the house on the town town business standing on business <laughs> fucking Oakland boy them niggas them Bay Area niggas is it. Oh, yeah. Houston in the house Ace Town no, I'm talking about. You got your drink in your cup. Jamaica Queens. Chicken wing. That's my nigga Chicken Wing. Y'all give it up for Chicken. Come here, Chicken Wing. Y'all give it. Y'all know when I be doing the joke about the nigga to do this. This is the real nigga right here. Come here, Chicken Wing. Come up here and show them niggas your arm. Nigga, you ain't tell me you was coming. No, nigga, just turn around right here. You ain't gonna get that famous tonight, Chicken Wing. Put the chicken wing up. You think you ain't called me a nut, nigga? I told him I'ma take that. Look at the white girl trying to rock. Ma'am, you left your booty in the chair over here. The white girl trying to run out, ass gone, everything out here. White girl! My nigga Chicken Wing right there, Queens, New York. Queens, New York. You know what's crazy? The nigga is a street nigga. The nigga been to prison, you ought to see his prison pictures. <laughs> <laughs> nigga been in the joint and everything with that little hand. 
And they fingerprinted it too. <laughs> Give me that little fucking piece of paper, nigga. You ain't getting away with no more crimes. No more crying chicken wing. And he hide it too. He have it in his pocket. Bitches don't know it. And when he be fucking them, that little hand be like, like And she said, what is that jumping? And then cut the light on. You been hit by chicken wing? Boy, I love you, Chicken Wayne. Everybody in the world know you. You yeah, blew up. Chicken Wayne, yeah. Nigga, you shut up. Did you take your meds today? There's some women in here right now with an old nigga from Nebraska. Some old nigga named Mr. Pete brought her out here. <laughs> this is how them old niggas from Nebraska tie their jacket up. <laughs> they had two fingers right there holding it. And when they turn around and say, look here, bitch, let me tell you. <laughs> Everybody is trying to golf and can't golf. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? They took me out there, it was too goddamn quiet. I said, hold oh, on, nigga, this feel like we at the graveyard, nigga. I said, what the fuck that was? It was nice, though. I like it. Yeah, I like to golf, you know what I mean? I'm trying to learn. I just want to be a better person, you know what I mean? I've been going to therapy. Yeah. I've been going to therapy. You know what my therapist told me? You need a psychiatrist. <laughs> Therapy's not enough, Mr. Reps. She said, why you like cocaine? I said, I don't like it. I said, I like the way it smells, ma'am. <laughs> Cause that's what therapists are for. They like there's they're somebody you can talk to. Cause black people, we don't go to therapy. We, you know, we, we just feel weird about it. Cause it feel like you know it's like ah. But you know you're gonna talk to somebody that you don't know, that don't know you. That's not gonna go in the hood and tell everybody. <laughs> oh yeah. He said he was gay once and didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> They don't tell you the truth. I told the therapist one time, I said, you know, I said, you know, I'm going to tell you how. She said, how do you feel? I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I want to kill a motherfucker right now. And she said, stop right there. I have to call the police. I said, what? I had to call the cops. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm not lying, man. I, I used to talk like I used to talk about drug addicts when I was selling cocaine. I used to say, "Look at that dope fiend motherfucker! Get the fuck up out of here, bitch!" And the dope fiend. You know, I said, "I told my friend I'll never do that shit," and I ended up doing it. And every nigga that did drugs, the story always start off. I was with this chick. <laughs> Nobody started their drug life with a nigga. It was always a fucking woman that got the nigga on the shit. Yeah. She's like, try, try this, honey. 
and then you hooked on it, and that bitch is gone, <laughs> and you stuck with it. Because it really ain't fun. Because you just be getting high, and you just be calling people and telling them the shit that you didn't have heart to tell them when you wasn't high. <laughs> And then when you come down, you're spooked. <laughs> you're scared. Cause you didn't call a hitman and told him, nigga ain't nobody scared of you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> and you're sober and you're calling his phone and you won't answer. <laughs> like, this nigga gonna kill me. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. I, I, I'm telling you, sex, don't even try to think about having sex on coke. Because your dick don't get hard. And you be, I mean, I done had some of the baddest, man, I've been in Hawaii, beautiful motherfucker. I'm standing there, I'm gonna tear your ass up. My dick's like, no, you're not. <laughs> and the more you toot, the smaller your dick gets. Fellas, be honest, your penis ever got so small you said fuck it and stuffed it in her? You said this little piece of meat is going in you. And she just called and it popped out. You done took your two thumbs and stuffed that little fucking piece of meat. It's going in there, you hope you get it. She's like, if you don't get the fuck off of me. <laughs> I, be, I say, you know what? I, I love being myself, you know what I'm saying? Because every time I tried to be somebody else, I failed. Yeah. Be yourself. And whoever like you for being you, that's who you're supposed to be with. And the person that don't like you, they didn't like you anyway. Am I right? Be your fucking self. And, 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 and if you're doing dirt in your life, and if you've done dirt in your life, love yourself for it. That's, one, that's what's going to keep you living and make you live a long time. God love people who fucked up in life. You can live a long time if you keep fucking up. You gotta leave room for God to keep working with you. You'll be 75 years old like, God, I still ain't got it together. Because as soon as you get your shit together, God gonna call you home. <laughs> Ain't that fucked up? <laughs> That's fucked up. God knows your crooked Christian ass. Yeah. I'm not bullshitting. I, I, one thing I, I was like, damn. That's one thing about being a black person. We just, we just walk out the house and with theme music. When we walk out the house, you don't hear the music, but it's on. It's like And when you get home, it, it go down and say Because you made it through a day being black. And white people don't want black people to talk about us being hurt. They're like, don't start that shit. <laughs> Come on. You guys are driving fucking Rolls Royces now. Don't go there. <laughs> you ought to be happy. <laughs> Fuck.
fucking, I thought I was black until I went to Africa and the nigga told me you are not one of us. <laughs> I was like, who am I, motherfucker? He's like, I don't know. You are very confused. You do not know your education. You are very lazy. I said, can you drive this cab a little faster? <laughs> and stop teaching your kids to be me. Stop wearing our shit since we ain't shit. Yeah. We started this shit, African Americans. Without us, there is no hip hop. Without us, there is nothing. And if I died and came back, I would still want to be black as hard as it is. And look at the white people. You sure about that, Mike Epps? Are you sure about that shit you just said? Because I want to tell every young lady in here, don't fuck for free. Calm down. I'm not telling you to be a prostitute either but don't fuck for free. And this is coming from a former trick that's telling you this. <laughs> Look at the whole screen. I said former trick, ladies. You're not making me backslide tonight. Look at him, look at him. That coach is for sale. Ah! Let me tell you something, ladies. If there's a woman in here and ain't got no money in your pocketbook right now, you sitting on a gold mine. You ought to not be having no financial problems. Every woman in here should at least have $20 in her purse. <laughs> what the fuck is funny? <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. Uh, I didn't say buy pussy from a drug addict, nigga. <laughs> $40 is a drug addict number. fucking somebody in the back of Arby's for forty dollars. <laughs> That's some bad head. This smell like the pipe, everything. Well <laughs> <laughs> that dope fiend head is woo. women are hollering out prices. <laughs> Does your coochie come with a mox of selling? Because <laughs> you're going to need to clean that urinal track out. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> this this the casino. You don't know who's selling pussy in the casino. <laughs> you see a lady with her kids and her husband going upstairs. <laughs> Same bitch down there two hours later.
In Vegas, you can order any motherfucking thing. You can get on the phone and say, I want a midget and a goat. <laughs> Two minutes later, you look through the peephole and don't see nothing. <laughs> A midget down there with the goat up under the door. <laughs> the midgets is heavy. You ever try to pick a midget up? You will break your motherfucking back trying to lift one of them little motherfuckers up. I want to see Cat and Kevin fight. <laughs> Oh, that is gonna be hilarious right there. Oh, Kevin, he be working out though. He gonna whoop Cat's ass. <laughs> Cat be smoking cigarettes and every motherfucking thing. Cause I done smoked some with him. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's really cool, man, to be able to tell jokes and, uh, you know, make a living out of this. Cause I tried a lot of different things and wasn't, wasn't good at it. I tried to be a street nigga one time and failed. But I learned just enough. I learned just enough. I tried to, I tried to uh, go to the army and didn't make it in there. I did. I failed so many times in life. I tried to go to the army, man, and I lied and told everybody I was going because I had some brochures. I was telling them all. I was like, look, I'm on my way out of here. Everybody was whispering, Mike, go into the army, Mike, go into the army. It was three dudes, me and my partners, we was all going to the army. And they went. <laughs> I said, damn, I done lied to every motherfucking body in there. <laughs> I said, I gotta get out of here and do something. So I went to prison for two years. <laughs> That's a different kind of education. They always put you in an institution the day after commissary was there. You walking there, everybody eating and shit, you ain't got nothing to eat. Motherfuckers eating popcorn. You like, damn, who running the store? It's always some old niggas sitting over there playing poker. You got some glasses on, come on, I'll show you what we got. <laughs> This nigga cell looked like a record store. It's comfortable in there. See a little cat run out of it. You got a cat, man? Yeah, two honey buns. <laughs> Look at JD. He just did 26 years. JD, come out here and show him, man. This is what a nigga looked like to did 26 years. He had life in prison and he came up. Say hi to him, JD, man. Hey, I love Mike F. And hello, everybody. I love you, bro. You stupid as <laughs> I did 28 years and I did one day at a time, walk hella slow and drunk a gang of walk. That's what I did. Y'all give it up for JD, man. Give it up for JD. He one of our surviving brothers of the streets, man. He got creases in his jacket. Motherfucking JD. I got another guy right here, man. He did 30 days with DUI. <laughs> I got a lot, I got another sister that's a comedian, man, named Miss Candace Brown. Come on out, Candace. Let me, come show your face. Miss Candace Brown right here. She also did. 62 years in prison. <laughs> Come on now, Candace. So this is Candace Brown right here, y'all. Y'all give it up for Candace Brown. This is a real hood mama right here. She lost her son to gang violence. Say hi to him, Candace. How y'all doing tonight? We in Las Vegas, it's the world of entertainment, the capital. And I don't care what you're going through. You come to Vegas, you'll forget all the fuck about what the problem was. <laughs> Immediately. 
Can I do a quick piece for him? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna come on. Oh, we ain't got time. We gotta listen to the boss. I'll be back. We love you, Candace. Y'all give it up for Candace Brown, man. I don't hang with nothing but street people. <laughs> but now I'm getting older and I'm watching Kevin Hart and them make all that money. <laughs> I'm ready to sell out. <laughs> I don't want to hang around no more street people, no more. Huh? What the hell? Ask that nigga sitting next to you. <laughs> Golly. I told you, if you see gay, you gay. And her voice is, what about that booty? <laughs> I got to sell out, baby. I got to get away from bitches like you. I am tired of performing in front of battered hoes. <laughs> Look at that little innocent white girl with the red shirt on. Have you ever been with a Negro? You have? Because once you go black, no, you just got Jack. How much money did that nigga get? Did that nigga get a rental center TV out of you? Ladies and gentlemen, the Upshaws will be back on. Check me out in my new movie with Snoop Dogg called Underdogs. And what else did I do? Thank you so much. Good night, y'all.